Hello na everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is a very very special episode to me uh, as someone na lumaking mahilig sa mga magazines. Uh, Siyempre nakakalungkot din na uh, nagsasara na lahat ng mga magazines. Wala na masyadong printed dito sa Pilipinas. Actually sa buong mundo. So today is going to be a mini tribute uh, sa isa sa mga magazines na nag-influence talaga sa akin sa development ko as a photographer. And I'm sure sa marami sa mga iba sa inyo. And ito ay ang preview magazine na sadly nagsara na rin sila no 2018 ng print edition. So yung mga nakita nyo recently na mga Ivana tsaka Colleen na covers is purely for online lang. So anyway, bago ang lahat, gusto ko lang mag-share syempre. Um, nung 2015 kasi, nung super nerdy pa ako. May nagtaga ako sa magazines before pa, but um, fashion magazines hindi talaga masyad. Hindi necessarily fashion magazines. So um, nung 2015, bumila ako ng first ever um, issue ko ng Freeview Magazine, which is this one. <laughs> sa Robinson's Ermita ko pa ito binila during lunch break ng Lasal. So ito siya. Yung kanilang 10th anniversary issue. And uh, ewan ko, nagandahan lang ako dun sa cover niya. And sobrang nagulat ako pag bukas ko sa loob. Like literally, meron siyang um, 70 pages ng editor. Ay, saan yun? Yeah, itong editor na nga. Like, 70 pages each cover girl. Sampu yung cover girl sa sa 10th anniversary. Tigi-tigi sa silang 6 to 8 pages na editorial. So, sobrang dami talaga. And I was so amazed and impressed. And then after nito, sobrang naging fan na ako ng preview magazine. As in, like, palagi ako na-amaze dun sa mga transformation nila. Every month, inaabangan ko talaga yung mga transformation ng mga celebrities nila. Especially nung time na yun, 2006 to 2008 or 2009, grabe talaga yung mga art direction ng cover shoots nila na parang hindi usual for mga celebrities na nakikita. And pati yung mga editorials nila, sobrang iba from the other magazines of the time. And ang napapansin ko talaga palagi is na kahit minsan yung same photographer nagsashoot for other magazines, Pag nagsushoot sila for preview, parang mas nalilevel up pa yung work nila lalo. Actually, meron akong letter to myself noong 2008. Parang ginawa namin yun ng college for a time capsule. And sinabi ko nga dun na in the future gusto ko mag-work for preview magazine. And who would have thought na parang a few years later, na magkakaroon din ako ng sayili kong cover ng preview magazine. And super nagkataon pa talaga na yung first cover ko rin ng preview was medyo same um, theme na to na parang uh, gateful din yung cover tapos multiple girls din siya na parang yung showbiz is next stars medyo pareho pa yung headline niya tapos nagkataon pa talaga na parang yung sa cover na ginawa kong first si Jasmine Curtis yung nasa floor tapos yung unang binili kong cover si Ann Curtis yung nasa floor din so parang Isa yun sa mga parang full circle moments ng career ko na hindi ko talaga siya makakalimutan. Ang dami ko na namang shiner, but ayun na nga, I interviewed previous former print editors Pauline Juan and Vince Uy about their legendary tandem as Preview Magazine's editor-in-chief and creative director that produced the most iconic images in Philippine fashion, as in, at least for me. Um, and ayun, get ready for some major fashion magazine throwback kasi itong mga images na makikita nyo dito sa episode na to as in, hindi ko na siya mahanap online so hinalaw ko talaga yung Carousel, Lazada, tsaka Shopee and yung mga iba kong friend para makahanap nitong mga issues na to tapos pinikturan namin siya individually para makita nyo lang yung mga images na ipapakita namin today so I'm super super excited for you guys to see this very very special episode so I hope you guys enjoy! Can you win BJ Pascual? Okay, so Pauline and Vince, nako my idols, chatting. <laughs> Not chatting. Um, so tell us about how you started um, as creatives or how you started in the industry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, you please. have all day. <laughs> well, I started in broadcasting, and then um, when I wanted to do a change in career, put up nail spa. While I was putting up nail spa, I decided oh, I needed to get connections so that we could promote it well. So mm -hmm. I decided let's just 
try preview. Yung what was supposed to be six months turned out to be 16 years. Oh my god. Yeah. Aloka yung 16 years. I know. So ikaw naman, Vince. Ako, yeah. nag advertising ako. Mm -hmm. So, uh, straight out of college, advertising for four years. And then, nung advertising ako, rumakit ako on the side. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, kailangan ng money. Uh -huh. So, I did stuff for Summit. So, for preview, Scandi, mm -hmm. uh, Cosmo. So, rakit-rakit ako. And then, si Pauline asked me na parang, if you were to handle preview, ano, what what would you do? So, ako naman nakala ko, mm -hmm. ah, baka paparakitin ako or what, uh -huh. diba? So, present ako, present ako. Laki, namit ko yung entire team. Tapos, yun, tapos in-offer niya sa akin yung job on the spot after the presentation. And I'm like so shocked na parang, talaga ba? <laughs> As creative director, agad As creative yun. director. Bongga. Kasi actually, yung first time ko naka narinig yung mm. art director na, na phrase was on a magazine called Bear. High school ako noon. Tapos, dun ko una nakita si Ben sa contributor's yeah. page noon. Parang art direction and parang digital imaging by Vince. Parang ganun correct. yung credits mo correct. dun eh. Correct, correct. Kasi parang ginawa mo layout and everything. Pati yung parang may layers. Sabi ko, oh my God, gusto ko yung work niya. Yeah. Tapos nakalagay dun sa contributor's page. Vince, uy, graduated. Advertising uh, Management at De La Salle uh, University. So yun, nung nag-apply ako sa college, yun yung second choice ko. Oh. Uh, you know, when I started in preview, hindi, it wasn't seriously considered mm -hmm. a career or a job. Parang yun yung, you take that job until you get married. After, uh -oh. wala. So hindi siya <laughs> career path, no? Uh -oh. So I think one of the things, I mean, turning points or, mm -hmm. or realizations, for me especially, it was really big yung parang, oh my god, we really did something. Mm -hmm. Was when kids like you, no, <laughs> started saying, hey, I want to grow up and I want a career in a magazine. Kasi dati hindi siya career. Uh -oh, <laughs> parang true. stop over lang siya. Yeah, actually, kahit nung time din naman na yun, parang syempre yung grandparents ko, like, I think for a lot of creatives talaga, na parang very hesitant sila for their like grandkids or their children to go into like creative careers. Kasi nga, yun nga sabi mo, diba? parang mm -hmm. temporary or parang hobby lang siya. Correct. Saka yung parents ko, hindi yun yung parang apprehension ko if, no, while sharing kung gusto ko mag maging creatives. Kasi nga parang unang tanong, kikita ka ba dyan? Yeah. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Totoo. I mean, get ko na ba? Concerned lang na naman sila. Correct, but, correct, correct, correct. But correct, you, correct. guys, like, so much of my work is influenced by preview. Kasi, oh, grabe naman. Hindi kasi like, sinasabi ko naman to sa, sa ibang magazines na parang iba working with preview. Especially yung time nyo. Mm. Like, iba siya na parang pagpasok mo palang sa shoot, Kasi before, parang shoot, sobrang prepared na yung, yung mood board, yung deck, um, yung makeup looks, hair looks, lahat, pati nails. Parang first time ko nga lang naka-shoot dati na may parang may nail artist talaga naka, na nabook. And parang yung, yung practice ng pagiging ganun ka-prepared and pagiging ganun ka, I don't know, parang thorough nung, mm -hmm. nung deck before the shoot. And then pag-shoot talaga, parang makikita mo, paglabas pa lang ng model sa dressing room, alam mo na maganda yung, yung picture. Mm -hmm. And so yun yun nadala ko from shooting with preview. Nadala ko siya sa ibang magazines. When I'm shooting with them, parang gusto ko ganun din siya. Mm. So ayun. By the way, today we are shooting Pauline for Tatler Magazine's Asia's Most Stylish List. And of course, Vince is art directing. Kaya ko rin sila nabudol mag-interview today. <laughs> but all these photos will come out in Tatler Magazine's October issue. Vince, after mo mag-contribute, doon ka ba na-discover ni Pauline or...? As a contributor. Yes, as and a then, contributor. And then Liz mm -hmm. Correct. came so, to work with us. Correct. Nauna si Liz. Uh -uh. Kasi ako yung nagko-contribute. Tsaka nasa advertising siya. Advertising ako. Full-time job siya. Yeah, and so that's my side job. But but at the time, parang si Liz nag-interested in styling, nagsistyle style. So mm -hmm. sinabi ko, Pauline yung sister ko nagsistyle, baka gusto niyo kunin as an editorial assistant uh -huh. or intern or whatever. Yeah. And yun. Yun, so we got Liz. And yun. then he kept contributing at that time. Mm -hmm. And then Liz would show all her yung yung laro laro nila. Mm -hmm. I started kasi wala akong kilala sa industry mm -hmm. at all. Advertising ako eh. So, uh -huh. 'di ba, parang totally different at that time. Like si Kelly Misa na cover ko kasi yung talent namin. So, parang oy, gusto mo bang maglaro laro shoots? And nagsu-shoot din ako noon. Uh -huh. So, yun kami yeah, ni photographer. Okay, photo. naalala ko may mga credits ka dati kaya sa preview na as photographer. Oh, as photographer. <laughs> correct, correct. How would you describe your working relationship? I, I guess know, organic. <laughs> yeah, organic and yeah. very honest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kasi parang hindi kami nag bullshit. Like 
we tell it as it is. Like, si Pauline, pag tinakita niya work, ako, kapangit. Mm-hmm. As in, ganun. I guess, the way we work is we are like family. Mm-hmm. Yung we're, like, we can be brutally yeah. honest and yes. we don't take offense. And I think it's also complimentary because mm-hmm. there are things na, yung, Correct. like, especially when it's visuals and text, pag oh. ganun, pag yung text, parang si bro, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. And then sometimes you parang ayoko na busisiin, pero siya. So, parang I guess we just push each other in terms of, and which is good. In the best way, Kasi sometimes parang, tamad na ako, pero then uh, hindi, hindi, hindi pwede. Hindi, tsaka ang maganda, I think yung magandang brainstorming is yung papaanakin nyo yung idea isa't isa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung parang walang ligwa ka ng idea. Tignan natin kung hanggang saan siya makakarating. Kasi ako, yun yung nakalakihan ko eh. Brainstorming yung pagbabatuhan kayo. Yeah. Yung ano ah, like literal na walang upo sa internet. Like, ato si Poli, pag nag-host pa yun ang brainstorming, yung may wine. So talagang, <laughs> alam mo yun, pag wala ka ng, ang dami mo nang nainom yun, parang hindi ka na mahihiya mag-suggest. Yung parang kahit... Actually, those are the best brainstorming. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, yung kasi sa akin, parang pag pag medyo wala ka na sa iyala ng inhibition si uh-uh. pag batok lang ng bato na idea minsan kahit yung idea mo ha huh? talaga ba yeah. i mean it might yung, be a the first. weird oh. or, uh, or a bad idea but yung anak niya mm. turns out to be the good one diba the, the one will run the Pero, day after closing <laughs> oh, oh. nang closing ng one issue oh, one the issue, next no day, matter agad-agad. what time you you end, end. 12 o'clock lunch after that Bye. brainstorming <laughs> It's a very good creative process talaga to brainstorm. Ayan, so very quickly lang, explain natin sa mga viewers natin kasi marami sa kanila super mga bagets. I'm sure hindi na nila abutan yung mga magas. Okay. <laughs> Ano yung role ng um, editor-in-chief at saka creative director? Punong abala. <laughs> but really, um, I guess the vision and oh. then the direction. Mm-hmm. And then it's the liaison between management also. So a lot of the stuff I do is really budget, right. uh, representing the magazine to, 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 the, to admin, to the publishers. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of events and a lot of ambassadorial stuff mm-hmm. um, as Correct. a representative of the magazine. But um, creatively, it's actually managing the creative team. Mm-hmm. I, I oversee the overall content, mm-hmm. pero how the content gives form is yeah. the, the creative director. Correct, correct. So, yun. Diba? Pero in short, siyang nasusunod. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just make that clear. Sure. So, <laughs> final <laughs> approval. <laughs> So, Siya may final, pag walang signature, ah, okay. A lot of people think that it's just like a very glamorous job na para puro damit la, alam mo yung uh, fashion. Yeah. Gusto ko to, gusto ko yan, ganyan. I think kasi yung Devil Wears Prada, ganyan yung, yung impression nila eh. So parang, yeah, it's good to know na it's really hard work and... It's business, it's an yeah. industry. Yeah. Kung baga parang, it really gives depth to the fashion industry. Mm-mm. May weight siya, hindi lang siya kababag. Kasi, yeah. Like ako, bago ko, na, bago ko naging part ng preview, har- hardcore fan ako. Mm-mm. Hardcore fan eh. So... <laughs> Lahat pa tayo mga Pauline Juan fan. Di ba? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, yun nga, I think yung relationship mo talaga, parang tama, very complimentary talaga. Kasi iba talaga yung power. Yung tandem niya talaga, parang yun talaga yung pinaka, parang golden era ng preview, I would say. Kasi yun, yung, yun din, baka sentimental lang ako. Kasi yun yung first ko na mga issue na nag mm-hmm. Parang on a bigger scale lang, I guess, na parang isa siyang shoot na parang tama yung lahat ng elements. Mm-hmm. Okay. So parang kayo, nung time na yun, parang tama lang talaga lahat ng elements. Kasi naalala ko yung first ko na biniling preview. First time ko biniling ng Filipino na fashion magazine nun. Kasi hindi talaga ako ma-fashion ma- before. Like, mm-hmm. computer science ako at super geeky ko talaga as in. So, nung pagbili ko ng preview, I was super impressed kasi yun yung 10-year anniversary. Oh, okay. Oh yung my God. first ko na binili, and then... Yung um, May Swarovski Crystal. Yung May Swarovski yeah. Crystal. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, ini- inisa-isa pala yun. Yes. Like, yes! Every issue. So, sobrang impressed ko kasi parang there were 10 cover girls kasi 10th anniversary, di ba? And then, every cover girl had their own editorial. Na, yes. As in, like, separate editorial. 
Just memorize ko pa kung sino yung nag-shoot, sino yung nag-style, saka sino yung cover girl na nandun sa editorial na yun. <laughs> Alam mo ba ang mm-hmm. trivia? That's the first and only time na ginawa ng preview. And then, binili ko siya, akala ko ganun talaga lahat ng fashion magazine uh, sa Pilipina. I think, grabe lang talaga yung power niyong dalawa. It's not just us, but I think it's the entire team. Mm-hmm. Kasi, it also is really the support that you get from the entire team. The function call will not work if the team doesn't support it Mm-mm. and also doesn't provide what's necessary. We're very fortunate to work with the best. The best writers, the best stylist. contributors, the best yeah. stylists, beauty editors, lifestyle editors. Ano yun eh? Kung baga dikit-dikit yan eh. I think two years na akong photographer bago ako nakapag-preview din. Kaya pag napili sila parang... Parang dito, wow, parang... Dito ako first time na nasabi kong photographer ako nung nakapag-preview na talaga. Oh my God. True. And naalala ko rin, kasi sinabi mo kanina, di ba, na si Pauline will tell you pag hindi maganda yung... Yeah, yeah. Totoo yan, as in like, for sure. Kasi narinig ko siya, first time ko nag-assist uh, for preview, parang uh-huh. as an assistant, was Karamoa na shoot. Yes! Mm-hmm. Nag-assist ako for a photographer who was based in New York. So naghahanap sila ng correct, assistant correct, correct. dito na nag-pictures mm-hmm. din for mga insects sila po. So, pagkatapos ng shoot, pauwi na kami, si Anna Canlas showed my portfolio to Vince. Parang yung reaction ni Vince dun sa portfolio ko was like, mm, nice. Ganun <laughs> lang siya. And then, so pag land namin sa Manila, tumawag si Pauline kay Vince. Uh, And then, narinig ko, malakas yung phone eh. So, kumukuha na kami dun sa conveyor. Parang sabi ni Pauline, may contributed na editorial. Ang panget, we have to reshoot it. Kanya. <laughs> Tapos, in my mind, sabi ko, sana ako na yung open. True enough, tinanong ako ni Ben, sarang, oh, ayan si PJ, kung nalang gumawa. Oh, correct, 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 correct. Oh my gosh, so first mo yun. Tapos first, yung Billie Jean. Yun yung Billie Jean. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. First yeah. din nila Anna and mm. Sit Sit, I think, sa editorial. Yeah, yeah. So, ayun. And Owen, Carmiento, first time din yun. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. puro mga first timers naman yun. Ako ang dami kong memories ng preview. <laughs> But kayo, ano yung pinaka-memorable? Like, sige, cover shoots or editorials. Kayo, kung anong gusto Memorable. Mm. Memorable cover shoot? Mm-mm. Alam mo, ang hirap. Kasi for me, lahat talaga memorable. To be honest yan, ha, hindi ako nagbibiro. Mm-hmm. Like, lahat ng ano. But siguro for me, isa sa, isa sa mga memorable, kayong bago lang ako sa preview. Kasi mm-hmm. syempre, nangangapa ka pa. True. Dalawang cover shoots in a day. Ay, yun ang parang pinaka, ano ko, Rufa and Tony Gonzaga. Oh my God. Umaga si Rufa, Uh-oh. after lunch si Tony Gonzaga. Grabe. At alalang-alala ko yun, kasi sabi ko talaga, saan ako pupulutin ito after na ito? <laughs> kasi parang dalawa siyang cover shoot, right? Uh-oh. Pero parang yun lang available schedule nila. Kaloka. Mm-hmm. Grabe yung dalawang cover shoot a day. Parang never ko nagawa. Well, actually nagawa ko pala siya sa preview. Oh. Nagawa? LA. Yes, LA. <laughs> correct, Uh-oh. correct. I guess yeah. na preview ko lang talaga siya may experience. Eh, yung, yung ginawa nga natin, cover shoot plus editorial. I know, grabe oh, yun. Grabe yun, record breaking yun. <laughs> True, plus editorial. Record breaking yun. Since retiring, mm-hmm. I have the benefit of looking back at it correct, for, correct. I mean, longer period of, over a longer mm-hmm. period of time. And then when I look back at it, it's not anymore yung, yung, kumbaga, what we were going through at mm-hmm. the time that makes it memorable. For me, memorable in terms of a cover, uh, yung image lang, mm-hmm. would be the Heart Evangelista. Ah, I love that in, one. In Cali, yes. Santiago. That's one, ma- sa, one of my top. Sa, sa, sa Muro. Uh, um, no, no, no. no, no sa El Hogar. Uh, yes, El Hogar. Uh, uh, by right. Pat, di ba? Yes, Pat, Pat, Pat D. 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 And Barbie, Barbie, Barbie Chan was the makeup artist. Correct. Super ganda na. Um, in terms of image yon mm-hmm. but other than that i think in terms of the things we did mm-hmm. the one with sam pinto mm-hmm. oh my god yes oh my because god. it was a, a, a preview plus art oh. and then there mm-hmm. were we were able to incorporate digital in it Correct. so there Correct. there was a, oh, when we ang, launched ano that grab it grab it yeah so Just to think about all the mga groundbreaking stuff that we used to do, mm-hmm. and yeah. and Ay, and dami. so before everybody else yeah. did it, and then another one is the the cover we did for Louis with Louis Vuitton. Yeah. It's actually the only cover we ever did that we did. We were not the sitting crew. Correct, correct. We didn't correct. art direct it, so um, it was a commissioned uh, cover with Louis Vuitton. But mm-hmm. when they came, it, of we had to give our own 
stamp correct, on it. Correct, and correct. that was the first time we used emojis. Oh, emojis the, the and cover. only time we used emojis on the cover. Nagkaroon pa ng ano noon afterwards ng comment na bakit may emojis and all correct, that. Correct. And uh -huh. then after it was released, the week after, Time came out with an article Dico. talking about the oh, new yeah. way, way people converse is through emoji. emoji. So parang when mm. you're doing it, you're so caught up in the moment mm -hmm. and then you, it's the next issue na, so you yeah. don't have time to reflect. And when I think about how we were able to hit the zeitgeist at exactly that, that, that time, time. It, it was like parang Diba? It, it's just, parang your work makes sense. Parang yeah, in a way, yeah. parang ganon. There's a lot that, you know, we we did the first... Augmented uh, reality, reality, tagal. Alam mo, True. Solen pa yun, was, ha? Wala pa si Solen and Nico. True. True. And Correct. also the first time ko na nakakita ever ng uh, pull-out poster na editorial mm -hmm. right, was right, with right. you guys, the one in Baler. Where... I think, ako din, like, ako, what, what I enjoy most then with like working with Pauline and the team is parang there's a support for new things. Mm -hmm. to, to explore new things. Yung parang, oy may bagong ganyan na. Oy, why don't we, how do we incorporate this in the magazine, in the mm -hmm. language? Ito, ito is isa sa mga pinaka-favorite ko. Bago pa na uso yung OOTD, previous been doing OOTDs na. Mm -hmm. Nung best dress namin before, binigyan namin sila ng camera. Mm -hmm. I-shoot nyo yung sarili nyo everyday. Yun, OOTD, literal. Uh -oh. Outfit lang nila na walang art direction, yeah. walang emote lang, gano'n, na nakatayo. Uh -oh. Uhun yun na after years after that, mm -hmm. uso na siya, OOTD na tawag. And one more thing, yung ano, ito na naman ako, dun sa shoot, dun sa 10th year anniversary na yun, mm -hmm. yung shoot ni Bianca, Gonzales. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nagsa-selfie siya. Yes. No, yes, nagsa yes, uh, siya. But yes. wala, pang, wala pang word na selfie nung time yun. No, so, I think rogue, even yeah. the way our covers, um, our covers evolve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parang when I look at the, the things that Vogue mm -hmm. US, for example, yeah. or the different Vogues around the world uh, uh, have been doing, yeah. parang we did it. I mean, the same yeah. idea beforehand. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Only because I guess our yeah. market is so small Correct. and we yeah. had to evolve much faster. Yeah. So we had to be more diverse earlier. We had to get rid of all those cover lines. Yeah. We had yeah. to diba? we had to bring different people to the cover. So yeah. parang now you're seeing it in the Western magazines. Mm -hmm. But we were doing that. Yeah, tagal yeah, actually, na marami eh. akong ganyan ano, side by side. Meron akong si side by side na <laughs> cover ni Georgina na yung naka queen siya with the uh. blonde pants. That's dark red lips, super pale. Uh, parang dark uh, maroon na lips. Tapos super pale niya. And then, parang a few years later, US Vogue did si Karen Elson. Yeah. Na, ah, yeah, na editorial, yeah. September issue din. Tapos, ganun din. As in, literally, yeah. same look. Oh. So, may mga ganun moments. Nakakatawa so, lang yung mga ganun moments na parang, it's sort of validating to see parang a global movement mm -mm. na you're in sync, you're in that, yeah. uh -oh. you know, parang ganun. Yeah. So, hindi naman namin sinasabing ginaya. Mm. Ginaya ng Voga. But like, no, parang and, and kasabay siya. Uh -oh. Kasabay nga siya. Uh -oh. So, you think that we're third world or so. Uh -oh. Diba? It's not. I guess, yeah. um, the internet makes it possible for mm -hmm. your ideas to be as fresh as or or, or the same as as yeah. what's happening all over the world. True. So, so I I guess it our budgets are third world, but <laughs> oh my gosh, um, world. the talent here and the creativity okay. and the ideas it's always been first. Saka the Pinoy creative is really ano yan, uh, resourceful. Mm -hmm. Very resourceful mm -hmm. yan. Kasi nga, we are all budget. taught to multitask. Uh -oh. <laughs> Minsan ikaw na rin ang PD. <laughs> cover na the hardest to pull off for you guys? The main and Alden cover. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. Just because um, at that time, mm -mm. for those of you who were not around, they, <laughs> they had not yet met, so uh -oh. we had to... And Preview Ayun was... Ba yung oh, yes, my god, yes. And, and Preview was the first uh, magazine to put them on the cover. Mm -mm. So, but because the drama on It Bulaga, they had not yet met, we had to do it in such a way that we were shooting them separately at hindi sila magkikita. Mm -mm. So, it was 
grabe yung production na yun na para Correct. separate holding areas. Oh you had to God. coordinate time. the time. But same day. Same, same day. day. Oh my God, grabe. Oh, but, kaya, nung sinabi nila na, uh, so we will shoot guys, so excited ako. Pero may, ano lang, merong clencher. Hindi sila pwede shoot sabay. So, like, niloloko nyo ba ako? <laughs> ano yun talaga yung sabi? Like, how are we gonna shoot them na hindi sabay? And yung cover nila was together talaga, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Until like, literally, uh-huh. magkadikit yeah. talaga sila dun sa cover. Which was, which was fun, kasi uh-huh. parang we thought of digitally having them meet together, di ba? Mm-hmm. In, in, a, in a shoot. Mm-hmm. Masaya naman. Masaya, masaya. Oh my God. Alam mo, ang dami kong favorite covers. Pero kung papipiliin ako, um, yung gatefold cover na very, very first ko na ginawa, na pinitch ko kay Lapuling, which is the 10th anniversary issue. Kasi yun talaga yung parang, huli, pwede ba tayo yung 10? Kasi pangarap ko talaga mag Vanity Fair style cover. Tapos sabi niya, talaga ba? Sabi ko, oh sige, go, gawin natin yan. Pero gusto ko lahat sila may editor. Sabi niya, ano? <laughs> Tapos parang, nalo ka nila. Nagdagdagan kasi naman nila yung pages natin nung ano. So, correct, grabe, correct, yeah. yun, yun talaga, iconic talaga yun for me. Kasi, grabe yung effort nun. Kasi may mga out of town pa doon yes. na iba. Yeah. Like, na, 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 no, na, and Isabel producing Oli, that cover in itself, that was the first time we ever did a two-day shoot, di ba? Correct, correct, ah, correct. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, two-day nice. yun. Pero may mas malala pa doon, yung three-day shoot na gatefold din, na sinunod namin sa cementerio. Mm. Yung naka-prada sila. Oh my God, favorite ko rin yun. Oh, oh. Oh. Saksaka ng gilip yun. That is just yes. what I remember. Yeah, naalala ko yung... It was yung, so hot. <laughs> yung cover nun kasi was, ano eh, Mark Nick daw, di ba? Pero yung inside was Jake, Jake Resosa. Resosa. Ang kasi ganda nga, yung shoot na yun. Hindi na namin kinaya na isang photo. Super ganda nun, as in so, that collection. But yun, memorable sa akin yung mga gatefold na yun. Kasi, like yung models cover na lahat sila nakahubad tapos puro mga Louis Vuitton trunks tapos sobrang naka finger waves lang yung hair nila tapos bunti si Wilma doesn't sobrang ganda nun as in sobrang iconic tapos yung isa ko rin na gustong cover um si Hart yung shinoot mo sa cementerio ah oh my god marami yeah. pa yung cementerio moments may cement- so, yes yeah. cementerio moments oh my god ang dami Georgina Wilson my god favorite ko rin yun yung Ah, uh, McQueen. Yung McQueen. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. McQueen. That we shot that, that brown out so we had to switch. Another studio. To another Lumipat studio. Lumipat kami, nag brown out siya. Midway, tapos magbalik namin, biglang, oh, nagkailaw na. So, balik na naman kami doon. Ganong level. <laughs> Gene yan yan, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. And then, ang dami, oh my God, DJ, para to, Bianca Gonzalez, gusto ko rin. Kasi, Ay, yung ano, yung mga, iba-ibang dark. iconic, oh, Filipino, yeah, sure. ano, Filipina, uh, mga, ano, icons, uh, so icons. Darna, Nora Uh-oh. Honor, Gloria Diaz, ang dami namin ginawa. And yung shoot na yun, ano din, 6am to the next day, na umaga na. Ganon. Yun, and si Liz, I think yun, yung cover nyo na yun, January, Jan, Feb mm-hmm. issue. Kasi nga parang, totoo ba to? Cover yung kapatid ko, yung ganun na feeling. And I think parang first time lang din ko rin nakakita, ano, na parang someone who works for the magazine. Yeah. Mm-hmm appeared on the cover, it's another groundbreaking mm-hmm. moment kasi parang shook lahat, yeah. diba? And also at the time, I think Means people are understanding the the, the, the the importance of a stylist's work, yeah. an editor's work, mm-hmm. so parang perfect yeah. timing din siya, diba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the word influencer had not been coined yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, to put her then was... Yeah, oh, diba? ngayon kasi parang normal na to put mm-hmm. like other a personalities like... Na, yeah. na hindi celebs on the cover or models, di ba? So, yeah. ayun. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, which celebrity naman um, surprised you on set? In a pleasant or unpleasant way? Charing na. <laughs> Sige, sabi natin ako, pleasant way. Ako si Liza. Oo. Kasi I remember when we did the shoot, usually kasi most celebs parang have their own mindset ko anong Mm-hmm. Alam mo yung may may sarili sila lang. Dito lang ako maganda. So, eto na ako. Eto na ako. Uh-huh. Sometimes, you know, you'll you'll try to convince them to to game naman sila. Kasi like try to convince them to change their look or to switch it up. Pero no sino tama si Liza. Parang we were running out of time for the layout. Tapos, meron na akong may naka-prepare na short hair na wig. So, nung sabi ko, shit, wala na tayong time. Move on na tayo to the next. Tapos sabi ni Liza, gusto ko suotin yung short hair. <laughs> Tapos sabi nung yesterday, oo, actually gusto niya. Game, okay lang ba sa inyo? Sabi ko, ano, okay. Yun talaga gusto namin. O, oh, so, game ka. So, so yun. And then, uh-huh. ako, yun, it turned out to be one of my favorite looks of her. Na yeah. short, yeah. like, Naka rocks. Batman. Ha? Naka-Batman yeah. ba siya? Oo, oh, oh, na oversized as jeans so, lang. Yeah. So, yun, na-surprise ako na parang, alam mo yun, she's, she's so, alam mo yun, parang pretty. pretty. And kasi nashoot na namin siya nung baguette yeah. siya, yun, na parang super dainty, yeah. you know, feminine. Tapos, for her to 
want to do that is surprising for mm-hmm. me, diba? Actually, ang daming surprises sa mga, mm-hmm. sa mga celebs. Sino yung most difficult cover subject? Uh, you mean difficult to produce to or with? the... <laughs> Difficult to work with? Oh my god! Very diplomatic. They don't want to spill the tea, Charing. They don't want to spill the tea, Charing. Yes! <laughs> Actually, you know, hindi naman not diff- Ako sa akin, I wouldn't say difficult. I would say challenging. Mm-hmm. Mag- iba kasi yun eh. yeah. Mm-hmm. Difficult is... Yeah, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Diba? But, ako so, for me, nga? Chris. Uh, Chris. Uh, oh my god, same. Chris, because for me, at the time when it was pitch, I knew we had a meeting eh. We had mm. a meeting and we... Parang it was the first time we kind of have to pitch the idea to her, di ba yung... Mm. Yeah. And I, then, I, I remember black. this because we were at a restaurant yeah. and she was discussing na, you know, the, the she will do the cover but we have to present the idea for her. So, sabi ko, oh my God, baka maligwak yung idea. Uh, mm-hmm. Di ba? Sabi na kahipo ni siya. Yeah, yeah. it's all black. Yeah. black Iconic. Because she Gloves. never really wears black. Never yeah. wears black, right? So, when we presented, it's like, oh my God, so unapproving. In approve. Uh-uh. So for me, it was challenging because we wanted really to work with her. Mm-hmm. And we want to present her in a different light. Mm-hmm. Not because she's difficult to work with, but because we know she's a very particular person, mm-hmm. diba? So yon. so nung shoot, talagang kabado kabado. Uh-huh. Kasi you know naman, diba? Parang she's very particular. Yeah. Pero game siya, sumusunod mm-hmm. siya sa instructions. And I think that's the first time she met Liz. Yes. Uh-huh. First okay. time she met Liz. Ay, wait, meron pa ako isa pa. Uh, si Gretchen was also a challenge. Kasi I remember, yeah. the first time we shot Gretchen, syempre, again, I think I think women of a very strong point of view uh-huh. are always challenging. Because ano first mo kay Gretchen na cover? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Ah, the Vuitton. Yung naka- uh-huh. Sa upo. Uh-huh. Another iconic. Oh my God, lahat sila iconic. Si Steven, Steven Sprouse collection. Uh-huh. And for me, I guess, because nga, they have a very point, strong point of view mm-hmm. and of, of themselves, of how they want to look like, of how they want to be yeah. portrayed and their style. Diba? So, yun yung challenge kasi how do you convince them? Yeah, and, and, and how do they get to warm up to you? Really? Diba yun, pag celeb kasi minsan, parang, sino ba yung mga ka-work ko? Uh-huh. Alam mo yun, yung ganun. So, yun. Kasi ako, takot na takot din ako. Yun yung parang two shoots na talaga, parang, my God, isa kong... Yeah. Ano? Experience ko talaga si Gretchen, nakakatakot talaga siya. Kasi <laughs> na nagustuhan niya yung pictures na shoot ko siya. But I think yung, um, yung people like that, especially yung mga people na, I mean, they just want the best from everyone. Parang minsan doon din talaga lumalabas. I think yeah. yun yung tinuro sa akin ni Georgina. Siya yung nagturo sa akin na parang hindi pwede yung pwede na. Correct. Oo, na parang minsan kasi tayo nagaganda na tayo sa kanila eh, di ba? Mm. But minsan sila alam nilang may igaganda pa. At talaga yung sinasabi niya, may igaganda pa. Ako, for me, the most difficult would be Liz. I thought you would say that. <laughs> no, only because she's edit, from yeah. us. Yeah. Diba? Uh, so, diba, when you're so close to something, uh, it's hard to separate, to separate it. Eh. Yeah. Uh, and then, I had to write it. Ba, diba? Because mm-hmm. I want you to write it. Oh my God. <laughs> I, re- you know, I remember that moment mm-hmm. that hinila ko ni Pauline, sabi niya, I want Liz to be on the cover. Sabi ko talaga, <laughs> I guess because we're so comfortable, ako for me, hindi siya challenge. Kasi, k- k- pwede kong baguhin yung concept on the spot. Well, si Liz, medyo ano rin naman talaga siya. <laughs> particular din siya. Particular din siya. Oo, oh, oh, very. Liz, yan. particular ka kung nanarinig mo to. <laughs> yung mga ganong women, like very opinionated women, parang nakakatulog din talaga siya. Ito, parang True. to bring out the best in everyone. And it pushes you more. Talaga. Even more. So, move on naman tayo to something more serious. What's the biggest lesson that preview taught you? Ay, alam mo na, makal- grabe naman yung life question na yan. Napahinga sila both ng malalim. Ang dami, actually. But, you know, uh, it was... Marami kasi it, ako, ang dami ko na natutunan sa preview. It just made you enjoy the moment and push yourself. I think we took for granted. You, this is mm-hmm. that this was the most creative mm-hmm. part point of our lives. I mean, it is it was a dream job in so many ways because when you work for editorial, you have a point of view that you want to put, mm-hmm. and it's really it's really 
um, creativity or artistic rather than when you do commercial work, right? So that kind of freedom, and and at the time when we were um, when we were doing things, we were pioneering. So nobody else was doing it. Mm -hmm. So um, all the work that we had originally done, parang um, we were given so much leeway. Mm -hmm. At that point, wala pang Instagram. Mm -hmm. So nobody was concerned of, or, or nobody had, even when Instagram started, nobody had learned about, um, am I doing it for my followers? Mm -hmm. And then things got more difficult, the more fashion became uso, or yeah. became a commodity. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it also had to do is with, because we were so successful at what we did. Correct, correct, but correct. when we were go when when we were just doing it, just trying to be better and better than yeah. your previous work, mm. and building on the on the body of of work that you did, mm. though I think that is the the best takeaway because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. your body of work yeah. is really gets better and better Correct. because that, that's what ultimately you tried to do. Ayon. Yeah, and looking back talaga, ako rin, I think yun din, yun mm -hmm. dami ko natutunan sa PDB talaga as in like a lot of what I know now came from, oh, naiyak na, sorry, <laughs> from working with Preview yeah. and with you, Vince, and with you, Pauline. Oh, uh, ako sa akin, what I learned really is parang you always have to keep pushing yourself. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun? Parang that's what I learned from the magazine na parang mm -hmm. It's not enough kasi sa magazine kasi parang you're as good as your last issue. Mm -hmm. 'Di ba? Parang ganyan yung thinking nila. So, for me, I felt most creative at the time because imagine mo every month, parang naging requirement siya na you have to outdo yeah, the issue that you mm -hmm. did, 'di ba? So, with that, everyone is challenged. And mm -hmm. when 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 people see you that you're always pushing yourself, they also end up pushing themselves. Mm -hmm. So kumbaga parang you you inspire people around you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's what we all learn from Pauline because she would always talaga oh, gusto ko 'yan, pero how do we paano natin i-level up? Paano natin kumbaga okay, okay, gusto ko yung story mo niya, pero paano i level up 'yan? Ano yung mm -hmm. next level ano chika niyan or next level concept ganun. So parang that's doable. Because oh, oh. there's one thing about you know you're planning, you're creative. Mm -hmm. it, it's good and a good idea, but given the deadline, given budget, it's how you execute, de ba? So those are also things that you really learn to work with. Ayon, sorry guys, hindi na namin natapos yung usapan namin kasi inabot na kami ng curfew. But, sabihin niyo lang ako if you want a part 2 kasi parang marami pa kami pwedeng pag-usapan. So, yun. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get updated on my next video. So, see you guys next time!